beginning, perhaps I should try and allay some of the anxieties of the noble Baroness Lady Meacher by referring her to Clause 1 uh, of the Bill, which restricts its effect to activities under the Embryology Act 1990 and the Abortion Act of 1967. So that's not going to take us, I think, uh, into the area of hospices and so on. Uh, my lords, um, I will speak very briefly because so much has been said and it's said so well. Uh, if I could say that my noble friend Lord Mackay, my noble and learned friend Lord Mackay, has said, uh, set out very clearly most of the reasons for which I support this bill uh, and, uh, and in legal terms, and my noble fr friend Baroness Eaton has set them out in philosophic terms. Um, so I would rather turn to the practicalities and there is a common concern, not limited to those who oppose the bill in principle, about the extent to which the exemption of the bill supplies, uh, the wideness of the extent, that extent. Uh, and, my lords, um, it seems to me that two things need to be said um, or held in mind uh, when we start on this. The first is, to empty our minds of our own views uh, as to the rightness or wrongness of the termination of life. Uh, what we're looking at is the rightness or wrongness of requiring people to do things which are absolutely abhorrent to them. And the question is, how close to the deed that is done do you have to be before you are right to think you are in some sense guilty? And therefore, it might be helpful to uh, look at how we apply this test elsewhere. For instance, if there is a burglary, uh, and uh, if I uh, make arrangements for the burglar to have a, somebody to keep watch while he burgles, or if I arrange for there to be a getaway car, and delegate the duty of driving it to somebody else. It, could well, it would be quite clear, I would have thought in a court, that guilt attached to me because I had made it possible for the burglary to take place. So the question is, in my mind, at what stage in the administrative and preparatory procedures can a person who is involved with them properly say that if I had not done this, that would not have happened. If I had not provided this particular uh, pharmaceutical problem, uh, uh, prom, uh, product, or uh, if I had uh, not uh, myself been present at a particular time enabling some function to take place, uh, then it could not have happened. And I think the definition we must seek in committee is a definition which makes clear where the line stops uh, in the administrative and preparatory train, uh, where the line below which uh, there is no guilt, uh, where what you are doing is organizing the bus service that goes past the house that was burgled uh, and not the car which the burglar got away in. Well, it's a very simple illustration. I hope it's helpful. I warmly and enthusiastically support the bill and its intentions and the noble baroness. And I'd like to say a lot more about a lot of other contributions. But I think your lordships really want to get, bring this to an end because we are focusing very clearly on what the real issues are.